tell you what, it's well interesting this. I reckon we could write an autobiography together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no man, don't make me laugh like what have we of all people got to share with the masses? Alright, there's no need to get personal. I was just saying, people might be interested in what we have to say. My life's work and all that. <laughs> life's work? You'd get a slap off most people for saying that. You're a 20-something student sponging off the government for a degree that most likely won't be applicable in the real world. And best of all, you're having a discussion with a figment of your imagination. Also, life's work insinuates that you have knowledge to pass on to others less experienced than you. Stop being harsh. I'm never like this to you. No, let me finish. Last time I checked, there were five-year-olds with more of a grasp of the meaning of life than you. Please enlighten me with the stories you would regale us all with. Well, there was that time I went snowboarding. And I mean, I'm pretty good at skating. I was actually thinking of signing up for like the X Games or Winter Olympics. I could document my glory days. Oh wow! I'm sat in the presence of the next Tony Hawk or Winter Olympic gold medalist. Someone pinch me, I must be dreaming. Right, number one. You can barely ollie half a foot off the ground, let alone laser flip 720 on a half pipe four times your own height. Number two. I seem to recall you spending most of your time snowboarding, sliding down the mountain on your backside. And number three, to document your glory days for this autobiography of biblical proportions, you need to first experience said glory days, which I would bet my existence are not happening. And do you know why this is? Why? Because your driving force is matched only by your ineptitude to fathom that you are too boring. No one cares what you have to say. My days, you're not holding back, are you? I just want to be remembered as an intellectual like Stephen. Again, no. Mr Fry has managed to write his autobiography as he has led an interesting life and is an academic. You, on the other hand, are struggling to become an ape. I mean, come on, what is it telling you that your own subconscious is abusing you about cataloguing your life for future generations because it won't be of any help or interest to them? In fact, it will probably degrade their literary capabilities. Cool. It's great to know I can't even rely on myself for support. Cheers for ruining my day already. Oh, come on, mate. Don't be like that. I mean... Jordan has an autobiography, even though someone else wrote it for her. So there's still hope. I tell you what. If you get famous for absolutely nothing, I'll write the autobiography for you, yeah? Cheers, mate. Are you alright, mate? Uh, yeah, I'm sound, bro. I was just talking to myself again. <laughs>